What's up, everybody? I thought y'all here taking like a TIEs again. And, uh, you probably wonder, it's like, you got time to it on the screen. It's like, what? It's like, it's, I'm making a part two of this. Because it's got to a point where I'm starting to get very pissed off about certain things. And one thing is, after I did the first video about Tommy Sayota, P, uh, I got a comment or a message on my YouTube talking about, well, Tommy Sayota is a sellout and all this and that. And people didn't understand, probably didn't understand what the fuck I was saying, where I said half of the things he says I agree with and half of the other stuff he says I disagree with. I'm trying to say like this, yes, man. 50% of what Tommy Sayota says I agree with the other 50% I disagree when he starts talking about black mothers are the issue the reason why they're black kids are be put in jail or acting up and all this and that I disagree with it because I don't think black mothers are the issues in black kids growing up to be something else like if you like I'm gonna say this again I watched Dr. Umar Johnson's video. Look him up for real, man, about what he says. Because some of the things that uh, Tommy Sayota says um, reminds me of Dr. Umar Johnson. If you, like, this is how you spell his name. R-U-M-A-R-J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Uh, Dr. Dr. Umar Johnson. <clears throat> and pay attention to what he says. He says... It's not the, it's it's not one parent. It's both parents is the problems in the black community about their kids are growing up to be convicted felonies or something like stuff like that. But like I said, Tommy Sayota was kind of wrong just to blame the black mother for kids growing up to be criminals or murderers or rapists or pedophiles or so on and so forth. But some of the other stuff he says are right on point about people acting out is as as what they do like he did a video about the teddy long no well not teddy long uh, uh teddy uh td jakes td jakes and um uh, and he says the re not i agree with td jake said to him he says the reason why you have black people throwing up you being in jail or this or that is because you're successful and people who see black people who see black folks successful are scared of that they're scared to see a black person successful and I, I kind of agree on that let me say it again I kind of agree on that because if you look at it there are some black folks in the black community that are, are either pissed or afraid of certain black folks that are successful for real but like I said again I wish people would stop sitting up there coming to me giving me videos I understand y'all don't like what he has to say about black mothers I understand that I, I understand that because I disagree about him dissing black women like that I agree because I play because because one thing, and like I said, is I always pay attention to Dr. Umar Johnson on what he says. Plus, I pay attention to Dick Gregory and Paul Moody. But y'all sitting up here, and Professor Griff. But that's how it is. I'm listening to all these men. I'm sitting there listening to Thomas Sayota. Some of the things he says remind me of some of the, uh, some of the, these guys saying, like Dick Gregory, Dr. Umar Johnson, Paul Moody, and Professor Griff. And he kind of reminds me of these guys. But it's only on a level where... He talks about something that doesn't have to do with blaming the black woman for their children growing up to be criminals, murderers, pedophiles, rapists, so on and so forth. But he did to me, I don't think it's right for him to blame to blame black mothers for children coming out like they are. You gotta put the blame on both parents because you could say, well, you can sit there and say, well, you can't blame the parents for how they child turn out. Yes, you can. Because a parent's job is to teach their kids to be a better person instead of sitting up there teaching them how to be a thug. Thinking that thinking that being an athlete is the only job they can get. Or being a or being a, or being a, a pimp or a whore or 
a prostitute, whatever, because their goals are set on that level. But you have these other guys, Dick Gregory, Dr. Umar Johnson, Paul Moody, Professor Griff, trying to tell the world, tell the black community, we need to stop stereotyping ourselves as a black community and start paying attention to what we're doing. We're, it's like they're trying to say is the black community, the black people, are driving down the road with their eyes closed and they don't they are not paying attention to what they're doing they're driving but they're not paying attention to what they're doing and I'm sitting up there and I listen to Dick Gregory Paul Moody Professor Griff and Dr. Umar Johnson they sit up there saying wake up and realize what you're doing same with Dr. same with Tommy Sayota in a way but he's in a way but y'all gonna have to stop and pay attention to what you're doing because the first thing I see when people sit up there doing they want to bring up his uh, criminal history they want to sit there and talk bad about him they want to sit there and dog him out because he ain't kissing the ass or he ain't selling all this or giving it to stereotyping and all this shit which y'all want to sit up there and dog him so badly about something else instead of sitting up there looking at him and say well I disagree about what you said about black mothers it's not the black the black woman that's fucking up it's about black men and women that are fucking up and all they want to do is to sit there and say you all they want to do is call Tommy Sawyer a sellout they want to call him this they want to call him that yes I've seen a couple of, where, a couple of his videos where he made bad decisions but I'm not gonna sit up there and throw his criminal history in his face because that is not my job to do my job is not to throw his criminal history in his face his past it is not my job to do that you know why because I don't get paid to throw his criminal past in his face it is not my damn job you damn sure don't get get paid to throw his throw his criminal past in his face now, how would you feel if I came to your house and threw your past in your face and tell, <laughs> tell your kids how bad of a parent you are? That would be wrong. That would make your kids think my parent is a bad parent. It's because how y'all act towards him. Instead of sitting up there and saying, hey, man, I, dis I, I dislike what you said about black mothers. It's not just about black mothers doing wrong it's about black fathers doing wrong too in the community and I think that you need to stop sitting there saying it's only the better act mother screwing up see that's why I pay attention to what Dr. Umar Johnson has to say about black parents <laughs> about black parents same with Professor Griff if you pay it like if you go look up some of the videos of what Professor Griff has said, he mentions on how black parents give in to temptation and stereotyping themselves. You're probably wondering who is Professor Griff? He's in Public Enemy, the rap group with Chuck D and Flavor Flav. Same with Paul Moody, a stand up comedian that actually sat there and work with Richard Pryor he sits there and die not diagnosed but he sits there and looks and explains what black folks are doing today it's like it's like black folks are acting now and acting silly and giving into that stereotype shit like the like people want them to do kinda of saying black folks are actually sitting up there black facing themselves same with Dick Gregory. He says the same thing about black folks too, but in a different manner where you need to wake up and stop being so damn ignorant about what you're doing. Because you not making you making yourself look bad because of what you're doing. You making yourself look bad but for for but for Tommy Sayota, I think he's on the right track but headed in the wrong direction on this whole black folks are doing wrong that's what I think that's what I think but it's come down to th but it's come down to this is where all people want to do is dog him out because he ain't gonna 
give in the temptation and doing what everybody else do. Yeah, and I saw a couple of videos where he had his child in the room and he's sitting up there cussing and getting loud while she tried to sleep. And I thought, okay, that was kind of wrong, but I'm not a parent. I'm not that child's parent. I'm not, I can't sit there and do it, trying to teach him how to be a parent. I can't tell Thomas I don't know how to be a good parent. But it's like, it's, I'm just tired of people sitting up here trying to say, well, you need to check out with Uncle Tom Misayota. And I always see that. I always see people do videos calling Uncle Tom Misayota. I say, it's just, it goes right back to a video I did about the black entertainment industry. It's funny how in the black entertainment industry, it's always the same damn thing with the, in the black entertainment industry. They want to call each other Uncle Toms and sellout. It's just as well as the black community. All they want to do is call each other sellouts and Uncle Toms. And they think it's got to a point where that's all black folks know how to do. When you see a successful black person, you call them sellouts. Uncle Toms. White wannabe. And that's how it is. That's how it is. But you don't want to sit there and realize that it just it just pisses me off on how people do it, it, it just pisses me off on how people want to do people do it just it pisses me off it just I don't get it and that's all people want to do is poke fun if he's trying to tell you something like watch what you're doing it's like being on a construction site and your manager your boss comes up to you and says hey wake up stupid watch what the fuck you're doing he's telling you to watch out and that's all and that's all I've been seeing with these people giving me video time to say on the channel. Time to say on the Disney bitch and the bitch and the bitch and it's like you rather bitch at him for your child's ignorance. No, not ignorance. I can't call a child ignorant, but for your child acting now, but you can't parent your child. You can walk around saying, Oh, I'm a damn good parent. If you're a damn good parent, why is your child in juvenile hall? If you're such a good parent, if you're such a good parent, then why is your child sitting in, always in trouble in school, or always in trouble with the law, or always this and this and this and this? Because y'all don't, because y'all ain't doing your job as a parent. You have to sit your child in front of a TV, sit your child in front of a TV, and then let the TV raise them. Don't sit your child in front of no fucking TV and teach this. They let the t uh, TV teach your child, but like I said, I can't. Like I'm gonna say it again, I agree on 50 percent of what Tommy Sayota says, and I disagree fifty percent of what he says. Which means I disagree when he talks about black mothers. I disagree on because I don't think it's the black mothers that's fucking up their child. It's the black mothers and fathers that I believe that's messing up their child. So it's not putting the blame on black mothers because it's not always the black mother's fault. It's the black fathers too. I'm just tired of it. That he's blaming black mothers. I might not have a white, a black mother. My mother's white, but I won't sit up there and say black mothers are the reason why kids are fucked up today. Doctor Umar Johnson says it's not just one parent; it's both parents. Same with Paul Moody, Dick Gregory, and Professor Griffith says it's both parents, not just one. But as for Tommy Sayota, he says it's one. And but like I said, fifty percent of what he says I do agree with. The other fifty I disagree with all around the table. They so I'm gonna say this again, people. Stop sitting up there and sending me fucking videos saying you need to watch this because he's a sellout. No, you're the sellout because one thing is you're hating on this man because he's telling you watch what the fuck you're doing, grow the fuck up, and pay attention to your child. Be in your child's life, interact with your child. Do not sit up there and put them in front of a TV or let them run the fucking streets. 
but be a parent, not a peer. Be a parent, like they say, be a parent, not a peer. Be a parent, not a friend. When they put, when they grow up and hit 18, 19, they get the fuck out the house, or when they hit 18, 19, they pay a bill. That's when you become a friend. But till then, you're still a parent. Even when they grow up or hit 21, you're still a parent. But y'all need to stop sitting up there thinking that Tommy Sayota is this evil, nasty, disgusting piece of shit. He's not. He's just trying to. He's not. He's trying to say, tell y'all, wait the fuck up, people. Wait the fuck up. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm Afro Joe. Ten like a T I is again. And that's how it is. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Follow, subscribe to my channel, Cillo Dream Two, Cillo Dream Three. Because one thing, like I said, I only agree with him halfway, but not the full way. I only agree with him 50%. But when he starts talking about black mothers, other problems, that's when I pump my brakes and say, "You're on your own. You're on your own." Like this is Afro Joe Ten. Like a T A is peace, love, and Afro Greece.